Hi dear, this is Abdullah Sheikh from Code Prime. Welcome back to another tutorial of Code Prime. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a search engine like this. You can see on my computer screen. You can make your own search engine and you can search it in your using the Google search engine. So we are going to make this type of search engine. You can see on my computer screen, we are going to write something here in this search engine. And the search result will be shown by the Google search. So just click on this search button and you can see the search result on Google. And you will find here anything what, whatever you can search here and this all result will be shown by this google so let's start this video how we can make like this type of google search engine so here you can see i have opened my html basic vs code and here i have added basic html file and css file and some two images icon and logo so now we are going to copy this body and let's set this body css for this body item so here we will set this display flex and justify content center this is the same css as we make this property goes to center so this is the very simple css for display flex using and hide mean hide and width and align item and justify content center then open a class name that is container and inside of this class name we are going to first let's write the css for this container so let's write this container css so here i'm going to make some padding here for this css this property for container let's set a padding that is 50 pixel and here I'm going to add a box shadow so that we can visible it. So let's set this box shadow 0030 pixel and CC this color code. And now we're going to set this border radius, it will be 5 pixel. So now let's save this all document and let's see the viewpoint there. Okay, now I'll open it with the live server and you can see that padding was successfully shown there. And now we're going to set for this inside of this container class, we're going to add a logo. So that will be our main logo that's as we use that Google icons here. Like this, we are going to add a logo class name and inside of this we are adding a images that is cp.logo, cplogo.png. This is our logo of this circuit prime logo here. So we are going to write this CSS for this logo first of all. So let's write this CSS for this here. I'm going to set a width that is 100 pixel here. And then we are going to copy. So let's copy it. And then we are going to paste it again. And here I'm going to be writing this CSS for images. Let's set it with this 100 percent so that it can be adjust the size. So now we have successfully completed that this CSS and now we're going to add a title inside of this logo. So after this image tag, we're going to add a logo title there. So let's set this title class and here we're going to write in the title class that is code prime and Bangladesh because I'm Bangladesh from. So I have written the title. So now we're going to style for this title. So let's start this CSS for title. Okay, dot inside of this dot logo and then dot title so you are going to set this you must be say that this where actually your class name was location so you must be located your class because if you don't location your class as perfectly then the css will not work so now we can see the font size and the font width and we have set this and now we're going to set a font family in this universal selector so now we have set the font family right now here so now we're going to set the form action after this logo I'm going to add a from and then inside of this we'll add input field type this text and placeholder we're going to make it a search your query so you can search here anything like there so that's why i'm going to write this search your query and then we're going to name q because it will be a question mark because we're going to search your query and this add a button here and the button type will be submit and let's add a images for this button so we're going to add a search icon dot png so this will be our search icon so we have added successfully our basic html done so now we are going to write for the CSS for this all item and property here. So let's first of all set some margin base inside of this. So inside of this container logo box and this. So we have set some margin that is margin 20 pixels. So let's for the set from the bottom side only because top we don't need any margin there. So let's we have set this 20 pixel here. So now let's go down and just copy it and copy this from. So now we need to type this first of all this class container and then from so now we're going to set the display flex because we want to make this search bar and the search icon so we're going to make it in one line so let's set this with uh, first of all let me check it for this by 70 percent okay let's make it 50 percent it was looking good so now we're going to set for this from icon so let's copy this from and we're going to set here okay there's inside of this we have input field before input field we should make the style for this from so let's set here the background linear gradient we have 45 degree and let me add any color code and then we'll be change the color from this your color frame so let's change this color icon and code 
okay that we have successfully set the color also decrease the opacity as much you want so then after adding this so now go to back and let's check here and after this classes here we're going to add a padding so that it can be visible there so here i'm going to add a 10 pixel and 20 pixel so you can see the background is showing there so now we need to set this ray size for this images also then it will be show a little bit up there so first of all let me set this import field so here I'm, going to, I'm making some removing that auto by default property that border and outline and remove this and also here the background transparent sorry i have made made wrong type so let us set this background transparent so you can see now the background color is visible now so now we need to copy this again and paste here and then we're going to type in for this button so there's we have the button here so let's copy it we can make type here by default there so now we're going to make a padding for this button also so 5 pixel and we're going to add a background so add a blue color and then we're going to make it of opacity down little bit of so that we can see there and we have made this on background you can see on this icon and the live preview will be see on the right side there and then we will set for images width so here i'm going to make a 50 pixel okay sorry 5 pixel let's make it 50 pixel now we have set this so now we can see the from button here this border also none because we have some default property by button so we are going to make border and outline is none from there and then we need to set for this from option that is width need to increase there and that person so you can see the background is covered so now we can see here this successfully cover this and now we are going to make for this container class we are going to make increasing that width is 5500 pixel it was little bit of a small so let's make it 1000 pixel right now okay now go to back here this title and we're going to set some decreasing them size here this first of all set this logo and we're going to make this logo here setting this logo pixel so that it can be dictates the sizes of this logo section so let me text is center so that it's all item goes to center there in this logo box so we have successfully centered this all item from this logo box and then we are going to set a decreasing that font size of this logo title so now we're going to set a margin also there from the margin top 10 pixel and we can see that we have some spaces from there and now we have to set for this color okay let's try to set this color for this inside of this text of this input field okay it was not working so let's set a class name by default we can add a text class let's try to make it type the class in the text so first of all we need to make that this before property the location property and then input dot text let's try to color change it was still not changing that color okay we can fix it no issue there so we can increase that name some of this let me say the text color if it this text property also in the types so maybe it can be type text form there so you can change this text so let's set this the text color class name okay let's save and change it was still not working okay let's remove this whole section from there and we can set this by from this or class name there so first of all let me say it set this all design stylist then we will give goes to say this that how we can actually implement that color it was not working so here we are going to make a background is so for the form button is background transparent so that it can be adjusted by the background color so now we have set this okay now let me set this width for this input field we will make it 90 percent because we have this right side also a logo we need to make it in one line so that we have why that's why we have set this width and now we're going to set this from action this border radius so this 5 pixel 3 pixel not looking good so let me 50 pixel now it's look good okay now we can see that this the search engine is almost ready here so now we're going to confirm this button img is already set there so now we're going to set this from actions it was border radius is already set it so now we're going to make this the color property for this the input field text so let's add directly style from there line of style this color here so now i should think it was working but this color is not working as not looking good so you can set this color black so now you can see that the color is looking here now we are going to make some increasing the font size about this text so let's make it one rem and you can see now the text is little bit of decrease the size so now we have added this successfully from there 
so now we are going to make this stylish file here we need to make some changes from there this color the background color so little bit of gradient and we're going to make some opacity down there okay let's check it one by one so now it's looking little bit of cool with the background and we're going to set a box shadow it is one pixel and it will be the box shadow 0 0.1 pix 0 0 001 so it will be the whole side of this 13 pixels so let me set the 3 pixel 4 pixel it's look good i think okay let's say 3 pixel is all right because this 5 pixel is making the blur of this light you know, the bot side from there so we don't need so much blur we need a little bit of blur so now let me see this come from this the from we're going to make some margin top we're going to let some more space from the top so we have successfully made this now let's check this r square it was not working because we haven't added any action into there so let me go to the statement file and this inside of this action class we need to type this http slash google.com so let's type this google.com slash search so that it can be result will be shown by this google search so now let's open it and search your query here so here i'm going to search query that is code prime bangladesh and code prime so it was you can see that the search engine is successfully working here so i hope you understand how it can be work and this source code you will find it in my video description